How to set up your Adventure Under Quilt. First, connect one of the included carabiners to each end of the quilt. Both ends have shock cords that form two loops. Clip one carabiner to both of the loops on one end of the quilt and repeat on the other end with a second carabiner. Next, locate the head end of the quilt. It's the end with the Go Outfitters logo. Clip the head end carabiner to the hammock suspension on the head end of your hammock. Then connect the foot end. Only clip the carabiner to one strand of the suspension loop to prevent the carabiner from sliding over the end of the hammock. Tighten up the quilt suspension by pulling the ends of the shock cords through the line locks. When the hammock is empty, the quilt should be lifting the hammock up. It's important that the shock cords are tight enough to keep the quilt pulled up against your body when you're in the hammock. The shock cords are extra long to make sure they'll work with any hammock. After your setup is perfect, you can trim the excess off the shock cords. Each end of the quilt has shock cord and cord locks that can be used to adjust the seal between the hammock and the quilt. It helps to have someone adjust these while you're in the hammock. When you're in the hammock and your legs are straight, the heels of your feet should be located here. This ensures that the quilt will be in contact with your whole body. You can change positions after you know it's set up correctly. When the quilt is hanging, you can slide it toward the head end or foot end by pulling the quilt in the desired direction. The shock cord will slide through the sewn channels and the quilt will stay where you leave it. If needed, the extra carabiners and shock cords can be used to connect the hammock ridge line to the sewn loops on the quilt in order to pull the head end of the quilt to the side of the hammock where your head is and the foot end to the side where your feet are. To preserve the loft and insulating power of your quilt, it's important to remove it from the compression bag and to hang it up for storage. Storing it loosely in a laundry bag is another good option. Make sure the quilt is completely dry before storing it to prevent mold and mildew. Now get out there and enjoy your gear.